Hello friends, long time no see. Yes, I have come back from the dead to create this one video which I feel is once in a lifetime opportunity and I really wanted to share this with you guys. I am invested in Fannie Mae Freddie Mac, obviously. Uh, disclaimer there, it's not a pump or dump that I'm doing. I'll be sharing some points why I feel these are really good opportunities to invest. And uh, let's dive into it. So first, before we do that, let's do a quick history. These were one of the biggest companies that existed before 2008. Um, Fannie and Freddie, right? Fannie is uh, all about residential mortgages. Freddie is, Freddie Mac is all about commercial real estate mortgages. So those were the two biggest companies um, and came 2008 when government took over not only these two companies, but some banks as well. Banks are out of conservatorship now, uh, but these two companies continue to stay in conservatorship. Um, they are penny stocks right now. Obviously they did not do very well. Um, in terms of applying rules and regulations and uh, had, a re had, had a lot of bad mortgages. And that's why this decline happened and government had to take over. But at this point they have paid their dues and they should be rehabilitated. They should be reprivatized. Now, that was 2008. Um, the first positive sign came in 2013 when Bill Ackman, through his company Pershing Square, uh, invested in these two companies big time. He was he still is very bullish. If you look at Perishing Square, his company's quarterly results, yearly results, he they still keep saying that it is an eventuality. It will happen, and um, it is the most interesting play. Um, 2000 um, so 2024 November could be a catalyst and all that things. Uh, we'll go over that in a bit as well. But that was the first time uh, some positive sign came for these two companies. 2013, Bill Ackman invested big time in these two companies. Next was um, in 2020, when Trump lost the second term elections, Steve Mnuchin, uh, Treasury Secretary at that time, uh, tried to uh, take a lot of steps to privatize them. I don't know whether it was a political move or they really wanted to do it. If um, I think it was more of a political move because um, they didn't want Biden to have access to the funds or the profits of these two companies. Uh, and that's why they tried to do it in the end after Trump lost election. Um, but I may be wrong. That's what had happened. But as soon as Biden administration took control, they reversed all those steps and uh, it did not happen. Uh, Biden's government kept enjoying the um, reaping, kept reaping the benefits of uh, these two companies for some time until in in August 2023, uh, Supreme Court ruled against the government saying that these two, uh, you cannot take profits of these two companies forever. And they have to, government has to pay damages to the shareholders now. Shareholders won the case in Supreme Court, which was awesome. So that's one positive, um, very big positive news that happened. A lot of other positive things are happening around, around these two companies. Um, CEO Priscilla, um, Fannie Mae CEO, um, contemplating the future without government conservatorship in one of the interviews. This is the first time a CEO is coming forward and saying these things, which is great. Um, Bill Ackman will go through a couple of his company's reports. You'll see how positive he is about these two companies. Mark Calabria, who is a um, former FHFA director, said that um, exit from the conservatorship for these two companies could be sooner than expected. So we'll go over all that. Plus, uh, and a very big plus, is that housing and commercial real estate is in crisis right now due to high interest rate. And the, and privatizing these two companies is probably the easiest way to solve that. And Biden's administration really wants to solve that. Um, so hopefully he does that before the election itself, but we'll talk about that as well. So that's those are the things that are happening right now, lots of positive things. Um, and it's really to infinity and beyond after they are privatized, you know, then it, it really would rocket, I feel. Um, at end of this year itself, it should start rocketing and then um, go higher and higher as they are privatized. Um, this is this is what I think, yes. Um, so let's see a few of the points in detail. So this is the chart of our Fannie Mae. As you can see, every year, year after year, they are producing more and more um, revenue um, increase of 17.4 billion in 2023. So it's getting healthier and healthier. Um, yeah, so they're, they're building fortress-like capital to, uh, so they can build the case even stronger for their um, exit from conservatorship. So that's that. Bill Ackman said, most interesting play for this these two companies um, in his Q2 2023 investor call, 
But even more latest one is this one where they are saying it's an eventuality and presidential election uh, could be a catalyst in November 2024. Um, and then both entities continued continue to build capital through retained earnings from the current base of 118 billion. Now, and they are also citing more restrictory in shareholders class action litigation where jury awarded damages to Fannie and Freddie uh, junior preferred holders as well as Freddie common holders which is amazing so yeah lots of positive things so yeah this is the interview I was talking about in past in on the previous one that Fannie CEO contemplates a future after government conservatorship this is the first time a CEO is coming out and CEO of, of Fannie and Freddie is coming out and saying these things. Um, mortgage giant chief says companies are rehabilitated. Um, is it a Trump trade? Is it a Biden trade? Or, or, or is it both? Right? Um, here is what I think. I think right now since housing, residential and commercial both are in crisis, Biden might just do it even before election because he really wants to solve these, this crisis right and and then this is the this is the article that i was quoting earlier that a former fhfa director mike calabria science books at 2023 digital mortgage conference and he said that an exit from government conservatorship for fannie mae freddie mac could be closer than many think this is a, a snapshot i got as well where keith bruyett uh, i don't know whether i'm butchering that name but they upgraded freddie mac uh, to outperform market uh, from market perform with a price target of $2.5 up from $1.25. So Freddie uh, stock FMCC also had a great run last week and um, and then it shook shake it off a little bit uh, on Friday both the companies did a little bit hopefully it will keep going up from here on and we'll find out. So uh, and yeah finally um, how uh, these two companies can avert um, residential and commercial real estate crisis is if we privatize these it will result in slightly lower mortgage rates because if you prioritize these two companies they will find out ways to do that um, and then once they do that that means healthier economy lower inflation and then it becomes easier to lower the Fed rates once the Fed rates are lower then it's just a loop back to the uh, to the step two Fed rates are lower then the mortgage rates will go even lower Right? It's easier to reduce the mortgage rates as well. And then it keeps looping until it finds the sweet spot there. So this is a really easy way to make it work if Biden administration can do it before election itself. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. This uh, Please do your due diligence and best of luck. We'll see you next time. Thank you.